What's going on everybody? Kyle here, Plains and Outdoors. It's been a while, it's summer, it's hot, it's humid. It's my least favorite time of year, but uh, we need it. It's the growing season, we need it for turkeys and deer. Any big game we're doing, we gotta have a growing season. So, uh, hence my get up is not usually the same, but it usually is. But here, we have a box that we have been awaiting for a long time. Or I have been, me and Brandon have been awaiting anyway. Uh, this is some of our fur that we sent off. Let's see, let's check out what they look like here. Maybe if I had a sharper knife. Huh? there look at that look at that that's our our biggest uh, dog fox there Let's see if I can get that whole thing in the view there look at that we did have him keep the feet such a great job on the feet there keeping those in Man, I'm telling you, nice soft tan. Whew. Looks awesome. Okay, so we got a fox. Put that thing way out like that. I'm gonna do this one because Brandon's not gonna like it, but here it is. Here's a Brandon's bobcat. Tell that sight tag. Yeah, man. We had our taxidermist Brent. Deniston, he did the feet on this when we sent it, and uh, man, did a great job. Look at that. Claws in there, everything. Look at that feet. Pretty white belly, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice, pretty young bobcat. Here we go, Piece de Resistance, my two coyotes. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Man. I think this was the big 30 pound plus male that we had. I had him keep the feet on all the coyotes too. So we kind of had a high bill. But I wanted the, the these were our first coyote catches, and this was Brandon's first bobcat catch, and this is our prettiest fox. So I had him keep all this stuff, keep the feet on everything, and so that raises it and uh, all that good stuff. But man, look at that nice white belly. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Show us the last one, Kyle. Good grief. Throw that one down there. I believe this was, this is the one. This might have been my first coyote, the female. Yeah, this is that female. Yeah, this is her. She was a really nice uh, example of a pretty Nebraska coyote. Southeast Nebraska coyote. Let me be very clear here. I hope I'm getting all of these nice in the camera there. But, uh, I'll probably do that. Yeah. Ain't that gorgeous? Love them. Love it. Absolutely love it. Guys, I cannot recommend any more Sleepy Creek Tannery in, in uh, Wellsburg, Iowa. They do fantastic work. They are, uh, a buddy of mine sent some 
he just he sent a cone off there one time and uh, told me about it. And it's pretty close to here, and um, man, he didn't lie. They did a fantastic job. Let's get a closer look here. Those are some nice examples of coyotes. Guard hairs all the way down, down the flanks here. You see that good fur kept through there. Nice long fur in the belly. No guard furs, hardly missing. He had a little bit up there towards the back of the neck a little bit. But nothing terrible. Really pretty bobcat. Nice spotted belly. Beautiful red fox. Man. I'm telling you, I couldn't be more excited. And uh, Brandon's at work right now. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to go to his house and drop this off and just hang it up somewhere in his house and see if he notices it. <laughs> but... We've got more fur in the freezer that we wanted to keep. Um, I have a really prime example of a coon last year that I wanted to, that I got at the end of the year that I wanted to do, send off. Um, and uh, I think more foxes and coyotes are in there too that were good examples. Uh, I just couldn't, we just, we just didn't send them all off at the right time. So, uh, and I'm not going to send them off now. Uh, it's super hot. I mean, they're frozen solid, but it's hot and I'd rather just wait. You know, what's the hurt? You know, wait till it gets cold again, send them off, and no worry of them coming unfrozen. So, anyway, guys, we just wanted to show you uh, the fur we got back. I'm super excited um, that uh, everything got done. And I'm going to tell you right here, I'm going to show them to you, show you that business card. Sleepy Creek Tannery there in Wellsburg, Iowa. This is their website, their phone number, Ben Dieters. Uh, I dealt with uh, people there on the phone and everything else. And I'm telling you, man, they are super nice people. And uh, man, they were, they, I mean, they were, I mean, they said five months, but they didn't lie. I mean, to the day almost, five months exactly delivered to my door. So she called me on Monday, told me that they were ready, and it's Wednesday morning. So, and they're here. So, yeah, guys, uh, super excited. Just want to show y'all all that fur, and uh, yeah, even though it's summer, we're doing we're, we're we're doing stuff, and we're trying to get some videos out, and uh, we're slowing down a little bit, and we're trying to get the podcast ready. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stick with us on Plains and Outdoors, and uh, hopefully this gets you excited for trapping season coming up. Well, I know we're excited, so we do it for the turkeys, we do it for the deer. But this is another cool reason that we do it is the fur.